ago, Kristen and I took advantage of it being our anniversary to get away for the weekend. It was so good to have some time away together to work on our relationship. Now, don't misunderstand me. I love Kristen. She's my best friend in the whole world, and I would do anything for her. But that doesn't mean that our relationship doesn't need work. There is just never a time when we can sit back and coast. All relationships need attention and take effort. And the simple fact of the matter is that most of life is routine, day in and day out stuff that if you're not careful can become very monotonous. That's why I like to get away every once in a while. I I like to break the routine and really focus on the person. Like I said, I think that's true of all relationships. And my relationship with Jesus isn't any different. It's not that I don't love him anymore, I do. But if I'm not careful, I can start to take my relationship with Jesus for granted and allow it to become, well, a routine. I have a tendency to be very harsh in my judgments of people in the Bible. The Israelites wandering around in the wilderness, the religious leaders of Jesus' day, and even the church in Ephesus. In Revelation chapter 2, Jesus has stern words for them because they have, as he put it, forsaken the love that they had for him at first. I can't help but wonder, though, if Jesus was simply asking them to break from their routine and to focus on their relationship with him. Maybe they had become complacent. Not that they didn't love him anymore, but just that they were taking their relationship with him for granted. When I look at it from that perspective, it's a little harder for me to pick that splinter out of their eye. What about you? Do you need to break from your routine of Jesus to focus on your relationship with Jesus? This, the fourth week of Advent, is our, our focus is all about love. Allow Jesus' love for you to rekindle your love for him.